Okay, we have Sean Coffee from Ritchie, and uh, he's going to show us a nice cross bike here. So, Sean, take it away. This is the uh, 2011 Ritchie Swiss Cross. Uh, this particular model is uh, a unique bike. This one's fillet braised by Tom Ritchie himself. Uh, Tom still builds frames up on his uh, in his uh, workout workshop up on Skyline Boulevard. Uh, he's uh, known for to, to be one of the best Philip Braze frame builders that's come through. He's actually come up with a lot of innovations over the years uh, in terms of tubing, in terms of uh, bike design, tubing design in general. Uh, he's really one of the original innovators. The Swiss Cross is a bike that was developed for uh, Thomas Frischneck originally, who's a multi-time uh, cross world champion and uh, one of the winningest cross racers that Switzerland ever had and also one of the winningest mountain bike racers ever. Uh, Thomas Frischneck helped design the geometry and the details on the original Swiss Cross. This new Swiss Cross here has got some new modern touches that we worked out. Uh, the geometry has been tweaked a little bit. The bottom bracket isn't quite as high as the original. The uh, top tube is a little bit longer. The seat tube is a little bit shorter. Just more modern cross geometry, a less than quite the, uh, the super rigid traditional European cross geometry. It's got uh, double cages for those of you that want to do more than just race on it. Ample tire clearance naturally. Uh, the Swiss Cross, this is going to have uh, WCS Logic 2 tubing. It's the latest generation of our uh, differentially and directionally butted tubing that we worked out. Uh, Tom's working on a specific spec for this bike that's going to be custom matched for uh, each size. Uh, the budding profiles change based on not just the ends of the tubes, but also what the tube is doing and what direction it needs reinforcing. So it'll be thicker up here, thicker down here, but then thinner in these sections because it doesn't need as much strength there. Every gram removed, retaining all the strength. That's kind of a Richie trademark. Uh, the new Swiss Cross has something really unique to it in the head tube. You see this uh, integrated headset design. You've seen this kind of a design on aluminum and carbon bikes on the Swiss Cross. What this is is obviously steel. Uh, you get a different thing going on here. You use our standard uh, Ritchie drop-in bearings that we use on our other bikes, but the tube is actually the diameter, the outer diameter of this section right here is similar to what it would be on a one-inch steer tube and then swells out to accommodate one and one bearings. Uh, what that allows you to do is run a much lighter head tube. This piece is forged and then machined and what that does is it both aligns the grain structure, makes a really strong head tube and also a really light head tube. So you end up saving about 80 grams over a standard 1 to 1 8 head tube. Um, as any head tube gets bigger um, in steel, it has to get heavier to resist buckling and uh, what we call the coke can effect. So all this combats that by making a much smaller head tube that still works with modern bearings and 1 to 1 8 steer tubes. So a little bit of weight savings here, all the strength remains. Uh, the bike comes with uh, a matching WCS cross fork, painted a match, and uh, retails for uh, $12.99. This will be available in a production version, which will be TIG welded, not fillet braised like this one is, uh, sometime in August.